is the blackest book ever in the world. Do you understand that? Once we come back to the understanding of who we are, this place is ours. You want to say that? This is ours. The Lord said that this earth is ours. All the men come up here and try to remove that understanding from you. That's hatred. Our people have not been keeping these laws. We ain't been keeping the laws that says, I love my brother. I, this is how you prove you love your brother. You prove you love your brother by not killing him. Now when he come to a place where we build and try to go against what we got going on because he's full of hatred. Bring it up. It's the blackest book on the earth. Over the years, we didn't believe that that man is actually Jesus Christ. It's, it's popularly taught. You, you, you're special, you know what I'm saying, sis? But the majority of our people think that's Jesus. How about you? You thought that was Jesus at one point in time? Never? You know people who think that's Jesus? You see it on TV, the passion of Christ. You see it on TV. You see it in movies. The world tries to make you believe that that's Christ. We were destroyed. We forgot who we were. We forgot who our king was. If we forget who he was, how, do, how you think we didn't forget who he was? Look at this. Look what happened to us. Look at this. This what this would make you forget who you are. Slavery was a choice. You see that? Yeah, that was a choice. Free. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So to a degree, he may have some validity in what he's saying because we had a choice to do the right thing as far as following the laws of God or suffer the curse or suffer the punishment that the Lord said would happen to us. Right. So in that aspect, yeah, he all right, he right. But the choice of getting on the ships and saying, yeah, I'll willingly lay down and go into captivity for you, that wasn't a choice that we made. Right. You understand that? We were forced to do that. Yeah. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Did you hear it though? He said you're going to come into Egypt. How? How did he say you're going to come into Egypt? Or bondage or captivity? Did you hear it? Or did he go too fast? Alright, one more time. Read it. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How? With ships. You hear that? How do we come into this captivity? How do we come into this slavery? That Bible ain't true. Huh? The white huh? Bible. Ships. With ships. We came into this thing with ships. Is, is our slavery true? Is our slavery true? Yeah. yeah. Give me Job chapter 30 and 30 real quick, because I don't want the devil to, uh, to uh, make y'all lose y'all thought in y'all mind. Read. Job chapter 30 and 30, because this is the blackest book ever in the world. Do you understand that? Once we come back to the understanding of who we are, this place is ours. You want to say that? This is ours. The Lord said that this earth is ours. All the men come up here and try to remove that understanding from you. That's hatred. Our people have not been keeping these laws. We ain't been keeping the laws that says, I love my brother. I, this is how you prove you love your brother. You prove you love your brother by not killing him. Now when he come to a place where we build and try to go against what we got going on because he's full of hatred. It's the blackest book on the earth. Jude chapter 3 and verse 3. My skin is black upon me. Joe says my skin is what? My skin is black upon me. So now, now if this is a white man's book, step forward a little bit. This is a white man's book. Prove him in the Bible. Why you ain't written in the Bible if this is a white man's book? Why? Who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? Why he ain't put him in the Bible? Why is he not in the Bible? Why is he not in the Bible? Why is he not in the Bible? Prove that! Prove that! Prove it! Bring it up! I'm proving Christ is black! I'm proving there's lies in the world! I'm proving the opposite of it is here! You're not proving it! Because my skin is black upon me! And my bones are burned with heat. Job said, my skin is black upon You hear that? This is a black man. You don't have a Bible. I'm a, I'm a black man. You're not proving what I actually prove. You're not proving what I actually prove. My skin is black upon me. And my bones are burned with heat. So Job, 
What's what you mad for? Because I'm trying to right? see you. Look, man. Listen. Ecclesiastes 77. I'm going to show you what I am. For my people, I'm hurt. What you're seeing in me is passion. Anger leads to hatred. Hatred leads to murder. I'm not angry. I'm not the, I'm not your enemy. Big Fred, I'm not your enemy. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. So what our people do is they hear the tone of our voice and they think we got some sort of hatred towards them. I don't know you to hate you. I don't know you to hate you. I don't know you to hate you. I love all my people. I love all my people. I wouldn't be out here. I'd be somewhere doing something some nigga get killed for doing. But I love my people. Read. Surely. Oh, say it again. I'm not, I'm, I'm not that black person. And look at me. Look at me. Fred, I'm sorry that happened to you. But it's a reason. It's a reason you're here today. Right. Bring it up. That's a reason you're here today. Read. Bring it up. Surely, oppression make it they wise man mad. And you mad that oppression that happened to you? Where did he learn to hate his brother from enough to shoot him? Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. This is where we learned that hatred from. We are, we are, we are, we are loving people. Naturally, we love people. We love each other. Naturally, that's because you've been made to think that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. This is why we hate our people. This is how come we can walk up to a brother and just shoot him. Because we see him as another nigga. We see him as a nigga. I see you as Christ. I see Christ in you. Christ is a black man. And when I see black men, I say, that's Christ right there. That's the image of my God right there. He lost his fail, he slipped, he hit his head, he had men beat his back, rape his ass, rape his kids, rape his wife, kill him, torture him. But that's the image of God. Bring it out. Bring I see that. I see the hatred. I see the affliction. I don't reciprocate that to my brothers. Bring it out. You got me mixed with the men that shot you, brother. I'm, I, I just hate black people. That's that's that's, that's you. Something you gotta deal with. Okay, I will. You I'm gotta deal with it, but don't bring that hatred to me. If you hate us, it, it, get away from it us. It ain't bringing hatred to you. If you hate us, get away from us. That you're trying to stop. Tell me, I'm the problem. Right. But you don't want to you're talk to me. You're not a problem. You want to talk you're to not me. a problem. You want to talk to me. The problem happened to you. You said you helped me. You said you helped me, but you just told me. The problem. Right, because you was being out the spirit. You was being ignorant. You was being ignorant. This is what you need to help. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Now give me 48. After that. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So when we got off those ships, what happened? The Lord said we would be sold as bond men and bond women. If you can get out of your emotions and just listen for a moment, if you can get out your emotions for a moment, you can listen and hear that this is the basis of how you can come out of that hatred. Read. And no man shall buy you. So we would be sold as slaves and nobody would buy us. You hear that? Is that a contradictory? I got him. He got a fight. I got a voice. Nah, what is that saying? No, nah, you just said. You take, you what is that face. saying? You're disrupting the sister. The sister trying to hear. Would you like for him to be quiet so you can hear what's going on? Nobody want to hear me. Would you like him to be quiet? Nobody want to hear me. Right, right. Devil, I just proved my point. Right. right. I got One second. One second. You can't help the So Leviticus 25. But you want to talk? To explain it. 47, 25, 47. So, it says, I got patience, but you out of order. You out of order. You out of order. Wait your turn. So, it says you will be sold, but won't nobody buy you. What does that mean? That's a contradiction. It sounds like a contradiction. You will be sold, but won't nobody buy you. Once we get off the ships, we will be sold. What we sold? We were sold when we got off these ships. Can you attest to that in your, in your history? You can attest to our people being sold. We were sold. So we were bought. So what's the contradiction? Did I say it? Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 25 and verse 47. And if a sojourner or stranger wax rich by thee, and thy brother that dwelleth by him wax poor, and sell himself unto the stranger or sojourner by thee, or to the stock of the stranger's family. So it's talking about our brothers and our sisters, right? If there's 
other people of another nation that stay close by to us, and our brother has become poor, and he sold himself to them to be an employee, what we, are, we would call him an employee, but he's only under bondage because he owes a certain debt. So he has to sell his services to this strange nation for a period of time until he can pay off their debt. Read. After that, he is sold. He may be redeemed again. He may be redeemed. But who should redeem him? One of his brethren may redeem him. Right. One of his brethren should redeem him. But this type of captivity or this type of servitude we was going into that the Lord said once we get off these ships, there would be nobody to redeem us or nobody to buy us out of that captivity. Was Martin Luther King able to get us out even when we was finished with this captivity? Was he able to reverse the hurt that our people had? He wasn't able. What about Malcolm X? Huey P. Newton, Marcus Garvey, these several men weren't able to reverse a change. How about Nat Turner? He was in captivity. Was he able to buy our people out or change it? No, the Lord said, no man will buy you. No man will redeem you. We under the impression that we Negroes. We under the impression that we are nothing. We under the impression that we not noble. We're noble before you came up. I was speaking about how the Lord said we are noble, my brother. You hear that? The Lord said we're noble. That means we're kings. That's who we are. The, the world stole that understanding away from us. And the Lord said, I'm bringing it back. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 